Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and in this video series, I walk you through the React projects at FreeCodeCamp.com. Right now, we're working on the uh, second project, which is Build a Camper Leaderboard. And in the last video, I showed you how to get set up in your local dev environment outside of CodePen, and we used a really good boilerplate, um, sort of like some template and pre-written code from an amazing instructor, instructor named Steven Greider. So uh, check him out uh, on his GitHub profile and consider buying one of his courses on Udemy.com. Um, and, uh, and I also uh, walked you through the architecture of that boilerplate code and I showed you how a typical React application is organized. Um, we also installed our dependencies. Uh, so now I think we're ready to um, just make sure everything is up and running properly. And uh, I want to think, start thinking about how we're going to break our project up into smaller pieces. So let's do that. Okay, so right now I'm in my terminal and um, I want to run this process. So very simple to do. We just write the command npm start, press enter, and it's going to take um, it's going to take less time to build this um, bundle.js file than it was to install our uh, node dependencies. Remember that took a long time. All right, everything else looks uh, good. We got a lot of green messages, and uh, remember. Um, uh, I showed you this before. Here we go. Yeah. Um, so the index.html file, it's going to look for like a bundle.js. And it's not right here, but if we go to our terminal process, this is essentially what it's doing. So it starts here at index.js and it just grabs each of the, um, you know, require JS files that's uh, present throughout our entire uh, application and it makes it to one big file called bundle.js. All right, and it says bundle is now valid. So that sounds pretty good. Let's go to our browser and we're gonna go to local host at port 8080. So write colon 8080. Go to enter and wonderful we have this text right here it says react simple starter and if we go to our um, app.js this is our app component and look at that we have a react a simple starter which is fantastic and you know we can make sure everything is working properly we'll, we will say you know hello world okay and that's what we always do right so we can save that we go to our terminal, it kind of, uh, uh, kind of refreshes the build project and uh, it says, okay, I, you know, I noticed like one thing changed here um, in your app.js, which is, you know, we just changed that little bit of text. And if we go back to our browser, we can refresh and would you look at that, everything appears to be you know, working just fine. Um, it's hooked up properly. Wonderful. Now. Before we write any code, I think it's a really good idea to go to the example application we're building. And, you know, I've already built this. So, uh, uh, you know, if you don't see this, that's, that's fine. Okay, we haven't written any code yet. Um, but I think it's a really good idea to um, break up our application into components. And I'm going to suggest uh, three components for, for each, uh, for, for this application, three components. So first of all, we're going to need a, um, an app component, just one large sort of like wrapping component. And, um, in the app component, we can, you know, place inside of it other components so we can nest components. And that's what you're basically going to do for you know, any React application that you build. So in our, um, in our, um, you know, React application and this app component, um, you know, it's going to be like sort of the container. And it's also going to contain this text right here and uh, these two buttons as well nest it inside of our app component, we're going to have this, this list component, okay? And uh, you might be familiar with Bootstrap. Um, you might notice that uh, we have um, some HTML, um, uh, some, some Bootstrap classes here for the table, and, and I did use a Bootstrap class to get the nice, you know, um, coloring uh, between uh, the different rows. 
All right, so that that table right here with the different headers and the, the column names and all that stuff, that's going to be another component. And then each individual, um, you know, camper, okay, uh, I'm going to suggest that is another component uh, for for our for our application so we're going to have three components um, at the smallest level we have the list item okay and um, that's going to be nested inside of our uh, list table component and there's going to be exactly 100 uh, list item components nested inside of our list table component and our list table component will be nested inside of our app um, component and our app component it's just going to have this text these two buttons and then we will um, nest this table uh, which is nesting some other components in there as well. So I know that sounds like really confusing, um, you know, hearing it for the first time, but as we write out the code, it's going to become, you know, clearer to you. So enough talk. In the next video, we're going to write out the code for our app component. The following video, we'll write out the code for the table component. And then the last video, we'll uh, follow up and we'll uh, write out the components for the uh, each of the items. And um, okay, that's it for now. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Boop.